The um, idea of simple linear regression is that we have two variables, x and y. y is a dependent variable, and um, x is the independent variable. Independent variable. And we want to find out if there is a linear relation between x and y. By the way, the word regression is very inappropriate, and the only reason why we use it is that the first person who um, did this um, used the word regression. He was trying to find out why is it that um, children of um, tall people are short. And he thought that that was um, bad, that that was going back, that that was a regression. So the word regression stuck forever, but it should be something like linear relation or correlation, not regression. Anyway, um, the, um, the independent variable may be, for example, price of gas and the dependent variable price of milk. So if the price of gas goes up, probably the... Um, price of milk goes up or the um, independent variable might be your GPA and the dependent variable your starting salary. So um, what we are trying to do is to find out if there is a relationship between both of them. Simple, why the word simple? The word simple is because in this case we have only one independent variable. In other cases, we could have more than one independent variables, x1, x2, x3. Um, we are not going to deal with um, multiple linear regression, just simple linear regression. And the word linear means that the relationship between x and y is linear. Um, the graph would be a straight line. Okay. If the graph is not a straight line, then it would not be linear regression. It would be probably quadratic regression or cubic regression or whatever. So you have seen in math many times y equals mx plus b. This is the equation of a line and m is the slope and b is the y-intercept. Okay. So in stats, we're going to use a notation that is slightly different. We're going to say y is equal to beta 0 plus beta 1x. So in our case, this would be the slope. Beta 1 would be the slope, and beta 0 would be the y-intercept. And um, you will see that your textbook uses um, notations like this, y hat and beta 0 hat and beta 1 hat. And the reason is that um, what we are going to calculate are just approximations of the uh, actual relationship between x and y. And our approximations are based on our data. If we get a different set of data, we will get different values for beta 0 and beta 1. So that's why we use the hats. Uh, they are just approximations of the actual ideal relationship between both of them. Okay, so our task is going to be to calculate beta 0 hat and beta 1 hat. Some books will use note the notation uh, B0 and B1 instead of using beta 0 and beta 1. Okay, so um, let's say that we have a set of data, something like this. Let's say that we have um, X and Y, whatever they mean. Uh, whether this is GPA and starting salary or whatever it is, um, let's say that we have the values 1, 2, 3, um, 4, 5. And then here we have um, 2, 4, uh, 5, 7, and 8. Okay. So to give us an idea of... Um, what relationship there might be between x and y, what we will do is what is called a scatter plot. And um, that's what we're going to do. Uh, we're going to represent 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And we're going to have in here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 
6, 7, 8. So this is the y axis, the x axis. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay. So for x equals 1, we get y is equal to 2. For x equals 2, we get 4. For 3, we get 5. And uh, for 4, we get 7. And for 5, we get 8. So in this case, we see that the dots are not exactly on, on the line, but they more or less follow uh, a straight line. If we had seen, if we had seen that the scatter plot gave us something like this, that the dots go like this, then we would say that uh, the relationship between x and y is not linear. In this case, it would be um, probably quadratic. Who knows? Okay. And uh, but in our case, we would say, well, let's try to get the equation of the line that approaches this um, dot in the best possible way. Now, what is the best possible way? One approach is to use what is called the least squares method. Okay, so we are going to do some preliminary calculations before um, I show you the formulas that we will use to find beta 0 hat and beta 1 hat. So we're going to have in here our x and y values, the one we have over here. And um, we are also going to have additional columns. We're going to have x squared. We're going to have y squared and we're going to have xy. At this moment, this column y squared is not going to be necessary, but we will use it later in a future video, so why not do it um, already? So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So we're going to have in here 2, 4, 5, 7, and 8. Okay. And what is x squared? It's going to be, in this case, 1 squared, which is 1, 4, 3 squared is 9, 4 squared is 16, 5 squared is 25. y squared would be 2 squared is 4, then 4 squared is 16, 25, um, 49, and 64. And this column for x, y would be 1 times 2 is 2, 2 times 4 is 8, 3 times 5 is 15, 4 times 7 is 28, 5 times 8 is 40. And now we would like to have the totals. So the total under this column is going to be the sum of x. This is going to be the sum of y, sum of x squared, sum of y squared, and sum of xy. Okay, so the only thing we have to do is add all of them up. Okay, to do all of these calculations, I'm going to show you how to use the um, TI30XS which is the new version of the TI30X2S, which is the one that I used in previous videos. This one is much nicer for about the same price. I bought it for $16. So um, if we want to do all of these calculations, what we are going to do is we are going to come here and hit data. And if you have used a calculator like I have um, before, you will have all data in here. So what you do is come here and hit data again. And um, then move with the arrow. And when you are here at clear all, hit enter. 
and everything is clear all the lists are clear this is called the list editor so we're gonna put in there um, one two three four five right so we're gonna put in there one hit enter two three four five then we move with the arrow to the second list and we're gonna put in there two four five seven eight two four five seven and eight okay and we leave the list editor we do second quit and now we would like the calculator to do all of these calculations for us so we're going to go you see in here that there, it says stat in here on top of data so we're gonna hit the yellow key and data so we're going to actually stat and what we want to do is two variables that not one variable two variables stat. so we move with the arrow and hit enter and by default the calculator has selected L1 as the source for the X values and L2 as the source for the Y values which is perfect that's what I want so I'm going to move with the arrow twice until the cursor is in calculate and I'm going to hit enter and it, you will see that it gives you a whole bunch of calculations in there it's telling you you give me you gave me five pairs of values the mean of X is 3 the standard deviation of X the standard deviation of the sample of X that uh, we gave is this um, this sigma would be the standard deviation if the values that we gave the calculator were the whole population which they are not so you're not gonna use this Sigma X um, the mean value of Y is that and um, the standard deviation of the sample values of Y is that that would be the standard deviation if it were a whole population you are not gonna use it this is what we need right now the standard deviations right now we don't need them what we need is this so uh, the calculator is telling me the sum of X is um, 15 so I'm gonna put a 15 here and um, if I keep going down the sum of X squared is 55 great so this is 55 and I don't have to add these numbers up and um, keep hitting the arrow the sum of Y is 26 so I have a 26 here and um, the sum of y squared is 158 again let me remind you we're not going to be using this right now we will use it in future videos and keep hitting the arrow and the sum of xy is 93 isn't that nice we didn't have to do all those calculations um, not only that you will see later this is going to be awesome because not only um, the calculator is giving you all of those values the calculator will also calculate um, beta 0 hat and beta 1 hat for you um, okay you will see that if you keep going with the arrow aha uh -huh, that a equals 1.5 and that b equals 0 0.7 those are precisely the coefficients that we need for our linear regression equation but hold, let's hold on to that okay let's just make a note of um, those values that the calculator is giving us because we will explain later okay um, the calculator gave us a is equal to 1.5 um, B is equal to um, 0 0.7 and R is equal to 0.99 and a whole bunch of other decimals okay now you will see that what the calculator calls A is the uh, slope 
the calculator is giving you a is equal to 0 0.7 and that is what we have been calling beta 1 hat and uh, what the calculator calls b is what we have been calling beta 0 hat and this is what we will define later as the coefficient of correlation of correlation um, okay but um, of course if you your teacher asks you to um, um, find beta 1 hat and beta 0 hat and you just give your teacher the values uh, you're not gonna get very good grade because your teacher would like to see the work so it is great to have the calculator to confirm to save some work and to confirm that your calculations are correct but um, let's see how we find beta 1 hat and beta 0 hat using the formulas okay so in order to calculate beta 0 hat and beta 1 hat we will first need to calculate what we will call SSXY. SS stands for sums of squares. Okay? So SSXY, we're going to define it as the sum of the products of X and Y minus the sum of X, the sum of Y, divided by N. And we already have all those values. Um, we have, let me move this a little bit. Okay, so we already have that the sum of xy is 93 so I'm going to put in here 93 minus um, the sum of x is 15 and the sum of y is 26 and n is 5 because we have 5 pairs of values so what is 93 let me do it with the calculator. I'm not going to show you the calculator for this on the screen. So 93 minus 15 times 26 divided by 5. That gives me 15. Okay, so we have SSXY. Now we're going to need, um, in addition to SSXY, we're going to need SSXX. SSXX is the sum of x squared minus the sum of x squared divided by m and uh, we have that the sum of x is 50, no I'm sorry the sum of x squared is 55 minus the sum of x which is 15 and that goes squared notice that sum of x squared is very different to sum of x squared in here we're adding the individual squares. In here we're adding the individual values of x and then squaring. So di two different things. Okay. And n is 5. So again, if we do it with the calculator, 55 minus 15 squared divided by 5, that should be 10. That is 10. Okay. So um, the other sum of squares that you will find in um, your book somewhere um, would be SSYY, um, -Y, which is not going to be needed now. But um, I included that because in, in a future video we will use the same example and um, the same calculation. So the sum of um, SSYY would be the sums of Y squares minus the sum of Y square divided by n so the sum of y square is 158 we have it there um, and um, sum of y is um, 26 right there and that goes square divided by 5 and we do it with a calculator 158 minus 26 squared divided by 5 that is 22.8 okay what else are we going to need we're going to need also the mean value of X right the mean value of X um, is the sum of X divided by n okay and the sum of X we already know that it is um, 15 divided by 5 
that would give you 3 and the mean value of y will be the sum of y divided by n and the sum of y we already know that that is 26 divided by 5 how much is that um, let me see 26 divided by 5 that would be 5.2 okay so we have all these preliminary calculations that will allow us to calculate beta 0 hat and beta 1 hat okay so what is um, beta 1 hat beta 1 hat is SSXY divided by SSXX and SSXY we already have it here SSXY I'm sorry SSXY is 15 and SS xx is 10 so 15 divided by 10 is 1.5 and what is beta 0 hat beta 0 hat is y bar minus beta 1 hat times x bar and y bar is 5.2 beta 1 hat we just calculated as 1.5 and um, x bar is 3 so what is that? What is uh, 5.2 minus 1.5 times 3? That is 0 0.7. Okay, so we have our values for beta 1 hat and beta 0 hat. Oops, I was not showing the whole thing. Sorry. Okay, so that means that our um, linear regression equation, our linear regression equation, is um, we said that the linear regression equation would be y hat equals beta 0 hat plus beta 1 hat x so the values that we got were uh, beta 0 hat is 0 0.7 and beta 1 hat is 1.5 times x this is our linear regression equation now remember that we um, when we did this with the calculator we got um, these values a equals to 1.5 and b equals to 0 0.7 so you see this is um, what the calculator calls 1.5 this is what the calculator calls a and this is what the calculator calls b which is our um, beta 1 hat and this is our beta 0 hat okay great so that's the end of this video. It's already too long. So um, we're going to continue with this. We're going to make several videos to um, finish with linear regression.